Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to Beatish and Candle Go channel. First off, I just want to say a huge thank you for helping me reach 600 subscribers. And actually, it's almost 700 now. I'm so close to my first 1000 and this is so exciting for me. Honestly, it means the world to me. If you're new here, I talk about my small candle business, share cozy videos with relaxing background music, and give some tips for other small business owners. I guess we could call these videos a bit of a podcast, since English isn't my first language, it's actually easier for me to add voiceovers instead of speaking directly to the camera. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy this style. In my last video, I introduced my new aura collection and I mentioned I'd be making a new new video for the first candle in this series. So here it is, the whole concept of the Aura collection is built around these gorgeous reusable coffee cups made from high quality ceramic with fragrance oils infused with essential oils. It's my first time working with this type of luxury fragrance oils, so they are pricier than the usual oils, but I wanted to create something truly special for my brand. So the fourth candle in this collection is called Citrus Euphoria, and yes, as you might have guessed, it smells like bergamot tea. As a tea lover myself, this scent just feels so comforting and dreamy. It has notes of bergamot, lavender and patchouli. Perfect for a little relaxation whether it's part of a morning ritual or a way to unwind before bed. It's a lovely balanced fragrance that's not too strong, so if you're not a big fan of citrus, don't worry. It's more of a gentle earthy blend and the patchouli really adds that extra layer. The color of the cups is just gorgeous. It actually reminds me of ocean waves. Just want to interrupt you a little bit and show you that I have a digital products on my Etsy shop for all candle makers. I have a bunch of designs for wax melts labels and candle care cards as well as wax melt scare cards. These templates are so easy to use with your free Canva account. Also, if you're making a wax melt and you're looking for a mock-ups, I have a lot of mock-ups to choose from and I want to provide you with a 20% off discount so you can check my Etsy shop and the discount in the description down below. And the last thing I wanted to say that once your candle is finished, you can repurpose it as a coffee cup or for any other drink you'd like. Now here's the interesting part for all my fellow small business owners, especially candle makers. How my business has been going in its first 9 months. This is really the beginning of my journey and as any new business owner knows, the first year is all about learning, mostly from mistakes. You try new things, realize some don't work and keep adjusting. When I started, I was so confident in what I was doing. I thought I knew everything from watching tons of YouTube videos from other candle makers. But in reality, you don't know much until you start doing it yourself. Practice shows you what works and what doesn't, and so much of it is unique to you and your brand. One of the toughest lessons I learned was about SEO search engine optimization. I didn't think about it at all at first. I thought having detailed product descriptions, long titles and beautiful photos was enough. I've always loved photography and I'm kind of proud of my products, how they look. In reality, you need keywords and SEO strategies to rank on Google. And even after optimizing everything, titles, descriptions, meta tags, you still have to wait, it takes time. SEO takes time and sometimes you need to change things around again to see what works. Another thing I realized is that customers these days are getting bored with social media accounts that just post products. I see a lot of candle makers on Instagram sharing only their products with captions like buy now or visit our store or shop now. And I get it, it's tempting to focus on selling, but people want to see the real person behind the brand. They want to see the funny real life moments. When I started my Instagram, I focused on beautiful aesthetic shots, but it honestly got a little boring. Now I mix in more personal content, like showing what it's like to be a candle maker, the excitement behind each new order, 
and a bit about myself. Sharing a little about what you started, maybe even your journey from a job you hated to creating your own business really connects with people. I think it makes a big difference. Everyone talks about how hard the first year of business is and it's true. Many business owners feel like giving up because they don't see instant results or have enough customers. I can relate. There were times when I didn't get orders and I wonder, does anyone even want my products? What am I doing wrong? But I never thought of quitting, actually. I knew patience was the key. The first year is tough, but if you truly love what you're doing, it keeps you going even when things are hard. The world is full of small businesses and there's a place for each one. Remember it. Eventually, you will find your community, your customers, who will choose your product over others. I have a few repeat customers already and it feels like building a little family. Don't be afraid to talk about your brand often because people scroll quickly and forget. So keep sharing your story, the highs, the lows, the behind the scenes moments. Don't focus on selling all the time. It sounds strange, but connecting with people is often more powerful. I want to talk about a bit about this motivation many of us face as small business owners. This isn't just for candle makers, anyone starting a brand can feel it. One big fear is the pressure to stay consistent on social media. It's easy to feel like if you can post constantly, maybe you shouldn't have social media at all. But that's simply not true. We're all human and you don't need to post every single day. If social media stops feeling satisfying, take a break. I went through a hard time where I didn't feel like posting or being online. So I took an entire month off. Nothing bad happened to my account. My followers and customers were still there. They will stick with you even if you're not showing your face every day or making engaging funny reels. Also, it's totally fine to reuse past content. You you don't have to post the exact same reel, just use a few clips from a previous one and mix them with new footage. People don't remember content as much as you may think. They likely won't notice if you use a similar video of you making candles, trimming wigs or labeling. You can create lots of new reels without needing to film from scratch every time. Another thing to keep in mind is that these days you don't need long highly edited videos with fancy effects. Most viral videos now are super simple and often less than five seconds long which honestly makes our job as creators a lot easier try starting your videos with something engaging maybe a catchy voiceover or text that grabs attention and makes people want to watch until the end avoid starting with something generic like here's our candle it smells amazing or we're releasing a new collection details coming soon Instead, open with something intriguing, like I was shocked when this happened or I never thought it would turn out like this. Nowadays, it's all about getting people to stay and watch your video until the end and ideally encouraging them to click over to your website and make a purchase. Before I wrap out today's video, I want to share something important. If you're not blogging for your website, you're missing out on a huge opportunity. I talked before about SEO and how essential it is to have the right keywords on your website to help you rank on Google. But SEO isn't just about keywords on product pages. Blogs can really boost your visibility too. Blogging might sound time consuming, but it doesn't have to be. First of all, don't forget that ChatGPT can be an amazing tool to help you create blog content almost for free. Here's a quick tip, you can ask ChatGPT for blog topic ideas in your niche, like 5 or 10 ideas, then ask it to write an outline for each that you like. Once you have an outline, you can ask it to draft a full blog post. All you'll need to do is tweak a few sentences to make it sound a little more human and that's it. You've got a new content you can upload weekly or even twice a week. These blog posts add valuable keywords to your website, which helps your site grow and improves your ranking on Google. The only tricky part might be uploading your blog in a way that looks nice and professional. If you're on Shopify, you can post your blog there directly, but I like to use an app called Bloggle. 
it's also on the Shopify. It's not free, but it comes with a 14-day trial and it's fantastic for making blogs look aesthetic and optimizing for SEO. You don't need to be a copywriter to blog. You just need interesting topics that people actually search for, like how to trim candle wigs or are handmade candles safe for pets? When people search for these kind of topics, they can find your blog and in turn your website. Just make sure your blog topics align with your niche. For example, if you sell natural handmade products, your blogs could cover topics like wellness, natural living or self-care. Blogging is a really powerful part of your marketing strategy, so start now. Also, don't forget to share them on Pinterest, that's a whole other topic, but Pinterest is a free and fantastic platform for searching new audiences. Lead magnets are also a powerful marketing tool, allowing you to offer something free to attract visitors to your website and turning them into customers. For my lead magnet, I created a free guide. You can ask ChatGPT for topic ideas to create your own guide. It's similar to writing a blog post, but shorter and more structured. Ask ChatGPT to generate some topic ideas and create an outline. Then use a free tool like Canva to design your guide, search for ebook or guide templates and make it visually appealing. Simply copy and paste your information from the ChatGPT into Canva and you'll have a polished professional looking guide. Pinterest is also an excellent platform to sharing your guide and collecting emails from new and potential customers. For example, if you're making candles with essential oils, you could create a guide on how to choose the perfect essential oil candle for any season or mood. I could go on about this all day, but I hope this gives you some helpful insights. Thank you for watching this video and remember, the key is to keep going and not overthink. I believe in you. Have a nice day and I will see you in my next video.